Hey everybody, welcome to Collins Creatures. Today, I'm going to be talking about Black Soldier Fly Larva as feeders. I was given 500 live Black Soldier Fly Larva from a company called Grubterra in exchange for a video review of their product. Grubterra is a company that produces Black Soldier Fly Larva as feeders for many animals, including reptiles and amphibians. And they advertise as eco-friendly because the grubs eat food waste. So this is what they come in when you get them, and if you, when you open it up, you may see one or two on the surface, and the ground might be moving. But other than that, you won't see a lot of them. But, if you want to see the grubs, simply stir it up, and you'll see tons of live black soldier fly larvae. Black soldier flies come from neotropical regions, which means they're from the tropics of the New World, but they've become invasive to basically anywhere that can support their lifestyle which is the adults eating nectar and the grubs eating decaying organic matter. Some other names you may go by is their scientific name, Hermitia illusens, and some other common names like the phoenix worm, nutria grubs, and calcium worms. So I went online and researched the nutritional value of black soldier fly larvae and other common feeder insects, and I found several websites that have charts independent of Grubterra that compare not only black soldier fly larvae and common feeders, but basically every, every feeder that there is. And there is links in the description to those websites. So now I'm going to compare black soldier fly larvae to other common feeders, starting with the black soldier fly larvae. And then dubia roaches. These are mealworms. And if you don't know what a cricket looks like, these are crickets, and I can't put them in a little deli cup because they'll escape. So I won't bore you with numbers, but what I basically found was that black soldier fly larvae have similar protein to the feeders I have with me, except for dubia roaches, which have a higher protein content. They have higher fat than the feeders I have with me, and the water levels are similar. But comparing black soldier fly larva to the feeders I have with me is kind of like comparing apples to oranges. You can eat them both, but they're not the same fruit. So I am also compared black soldier fly larva to wax worms, which are built similarly. And this is what I found. Black soldier fly larva have a higher protein content and a lower fat content compared to wax worms. But where black soldier fly larva really shine is their calcium content, which compared to all other feeder insects is very, very, very high. Which is good for animals that are growing and need to develop bone mass and animals that are laying shelled eggs. And I also looked up how much it would cost to buy 500 of all of these feeders, and keep in mind this does not include tax or shipping. So, what I found was that 500 black soldier fly larvae would cost around $20. When 500 half inch dubia roaches would cost around $75. 500 standard mealworms would cost around $13. And 500 large crickets would cost around $30. So, 500 black soldier fly larvae is reasonably priced. So now let's see if I can get any of my animals to eat these guys. First I'm going to try and feed Samuel L. Jackson my Jackson's Chameleon. Wham! This is my painted agama, Mona Lisa, and I normally feed her one of her meal by hand like this. Takes a few attempts. She might spit it out. And the rest of it I will put in her bowl. I put a bunch in the bowl and she can eat at her leisure and I'll check on her in the morning. And 
very interested as she usually is. I guess there's no need to check in the morning because she will probably eat them within an hour. Now to feed Kevin, my European legless lizard. Now Kevin normally eats high quality dog food, which is this stuff here, and when I want to supplement it with insects, I normally will give him like mealworms, and I put it right in the food, and the feeders will actually eat the dog food, and then that adds some more nutrition to them. So I'm going to dump these black soldier fly larvae in with his food for him to eat. Now it may, he may not eat it immediately, so we'll have to check in the morning. So, looks like he's not interested right now, so we'll check back in the morning or whenever he starts eating. So he has been eating it, but whenever we try to film it, he always stops right when we get the camera on. So I got several new Caledonian geckos. Hugs and Cuddles, my chameleon geckos. And Mushu, my crested gecko. And they won't eat from tongs because they're used to eating prepared food like Pangea, which they and several other brands put black soldier fly larvae in their food. So I'm going to offer them some live black soldier fly larvae and I'll check back later to see if they ate some or overnight, especially for Mushu because he's nocturnal, to see if they're gone. So it's the next day, so let's see if the new Caledonian geckos ate the grubs. Well, in Mooch's enclosure, he knocked the cup out of its place, so I don't know if he actually ate the grubs or just knocked down the cup, but that's actually pretty funny. And then for the, for the chameleon geckos, there is five grubs left. I put in six, so I can only assume that they ate one. So this is my wall of invertebrates, and people don't think of black soldier fly larvae as food for invertebrates, but I thought, what the heck, what can go wrong? So I'm gonna feed, try and feed some of my invertebrates black soldier fly larvae. Next is Dorado, my Rio Grande gold tarantula. Now, Dorado is kind of a shy tarantula doesn't like to eat on camera or in person. It'll take him a while to notice it at all if he does at all. So he may or may not eat it. So now I'm going to try feeding Forest my Asian Forest scorpion. Now my scorpions will normally just take the food right in their petty palps or claws and then take a few moments before actually eating it. Looks like Forrest is more of just scared of it. And now to try my Emperor Scorpion Palpatine. So it's always silly that he wants it, but he's not seeming to hold up. Oh, never mind. Next is Rex, my Zenensis Intermediate Tarantula. Now Rex is a voracious eater, so I won't be surprised if she takes it immediately. Or not. Next is Parker, my Mexican Red Knee Tarantula. Now Parker is a pretty good eater, so she may eat it. Huh? Looks like Parker is interested. Just needs to move a little bit more. Ah, there you go. This is Pegasus, my Mexican waxy leaf frog. And I don't tom feed Pegasus either. I put her in this container with her food and with normally crickets, and she'll hunt them down over a few hours. 
So I'm gonna put some black spiderfly larva in in a pile, and then she hopefully she will eat some. So it's been a couple of hours and she hasn't eaten any more grubs. I'm not surprised because she's not used to them as prey and since it takes a couple of hours to eat, the grubs manage to find their way underneath the paper towel and hide from her. This is Tony, my tiger salamander, and this enclosure is only temporary until I get something built up for him. Let's see if he'll eat one of these bad boys. So he'll obviously eat from the tong, so I'm going to put this kidney bowl in with his log so he can eat at his leisure. So the kidney bowl is empty, so he must have ate him overnight, but it looks like he wants some more, so let's feed him another one. But wait, there's more. This is BB Snake, my Diamond Jungle Jaguar Carpet Python. He does not eat insects, but he will watch me as I show this. Grub Terra also sent me a one pound bag of dried black soldier fly larva, which is good for chickens, reptiles, fish, and other birds. And since black soldier fly larva have a lot of calcium in them, it is good for egg eggshell production and also keeps your feathers healthy. <laughs> not my feathers, chicken's feathers. And also, and now I don't have chickens, but my neighbors do, and they're also my friends. So I'm gonna go feed the chickens. So these are my friends, Harsh and Krish, and these are their chickens running around. So we're gonna feed their chickens some black soldier fly larva. Looks like it was a success. These chickens really are pigs. So, at least some of my animals will take it, like my painted agama, my chameleon, and my little lizard will indeed eat them. At least one of my tarantulas have taken one, and the tiger salamander, Tony, he eats them like it's his last meal. So, I had a lot of fun and success with feeding some of my animals black soldier fly larvae. And I really feel that if you're breeding animals and the females are either being bulked up and are, or are constantly pumping out eggs, this is good for them because there's so, many ca so much calcium. Or if you have a baby animal that needs to grow a lot, these are also good because of the calcium content. So thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I'll see you next time on Collins Creatures.